had to get a new phone because my other one broke, but I like the camera on this one. It's a lot better. But I went to check on her today and she is deep in shed. You can see how white her sides are. And her eyes are full zombie mode right now. It always creeps me out when I see her like that because I always say, oh God, she's dead. <laughs> I'm exaggerating a little bit, of course, but she gets super white and her sides and bottom especially uh, are really, really, really white. And her eyes, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. Oh, not scared her away. Her eyes get real, real cloudy, as you guys can see. So she'll probably clear up probably tomorrow or the next day, and she'll probably shed about two or three days after that. So it's today is Wednesday, I guess. I don't even know anymore. But I'm expecting her to probably shed on uh, Sunday or Monday, I would imagine. Get an underwater shot. But definitely looking forward to seeing some fresh skin on her she always looks very beautiful after her shed and we'll let her get some outdoor exercise look at that underwater that looks great she's getting big though she doesn't shed as much as the other ones um, quite a bit less actually this will be her second shed in this enclosure um, so probably she's probably only shed two times this year, I think. I'd have to look at my notes. I keep track of everything, but she's about seven feet now. And she grew about two feet last year. She grows the most when I take her off of food completely. But starting at the end of next month, she's going to be fed a little bit more often. Probably every 21 to 23 days instead of 28 to 30 days. And then... She's going to come off food completely about halfway through November till probably halfway through February or maybe even March. We'll see. But I'll definitely get a nice, um, a nice shot of her right after shed so you guys can see how beautiful and vibrant she looks afterwards. So I'm going to leave her alone. Let her continue soaking. Um, between... Her meal and shedding, she's been soaking for about five days straight, so I bumped the water temperature up a couple degrees. It's sitting right around, I think, 83 degrees right now. And she really hasn't been out much. She came out of the pond for a couple hours the other day, but that's it. So she'll probably stay in there most of the time until she sheds, and then she'll probably go back to her normal routine. But as always, guys, if you think I deserve it, don't forget to like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up and hit the bell if you want to get a notification when I do a new video. And if you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask me in the comment section. If there's anything you'd like to see that's not harmful to the animals, um, that's also something I would love to hear from you guys. So tell me about it in the comments. And if there's anything you don't like, you can tell me in the comments as well because I'm always looking to improve the channel. Uh, I'm going to be making quite a few changes in the coming months. I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff in front of the camera, a little more organized videos with topics and everything, but got a few things to take care of before that starts. So anyway, if there's anything, like I said, you want, just let me know. And if it doesn't harm the snake, then I would definitely love the, uh, the suggestions. Help me think of new and exciting ways to spice up the channel and give everybody what they want so everyone stay safe and here's my girl